Happy Labor Day, y'all. Cup of coffee to celebrate this beautiful day. That's in honor of myself, buddy, you guys, dating back 19th century. And I'm sure most of you know what Labor Day truly, truly means. It's recognizing American workers. So, I raise my cup in honor to all of you, as well as to myself and Mr. Buddy, because we have been the American workers. And it's our sweat and our backbone that earns us today. That's just lippy. But I am back. I know I've been MIA for quite a few days. But y'all, I just got back from Deep South Homestead. And let me tell y'all what. I picked sweet potatoes. Not just any sweet potato. Now, you may ask me, well, what kind are they? I don't know. But I have named them Mr. Owl. So has Mr. Danny. So they're just Mr. Owl sweet potatoes. But y'all, these things are... I'm not exaggerating. Two hands. One. Two hands. And I was gifted some sweet potatoes. Some small ones, too. That I now, by the grace of God and faith and determination, I'm going to have me some slips and I'm going to continuously grow these. Some of the prettiest sweet potatoes I've ever seen. Now, I personally have not tasted them, unless that was the ones that Miss Wanda fried, uh, air fried. But according to Miss Wanda and Mr. Danny, they are out of this world sweet, but they're firm. They have a, you can almost smell the sweet potato. Y'all, I'm just, the whole weekend was amazing. But if there was one thing that stood out, it was me harvesting a row. I did. I moved the pitchfork over. And I didn't fall down. I bobbled a little bit, but I didn't fall down. So I'm very, very honored to have been given a whole row to myself. Because, y'all, I haven't harvested sweet potatoes since 2020, no, 2019. This was a big deal for Lippy. But what I brought you here for, not only to tell you about my trip, oh my God, there's so much to tell, so much. Um, but I'll share that with you throughout the next few videos. I will be making some homemade butter. I was gifted some cream lovely gentleman. I believe his name is Mr. Barrett. Amazing gentleman. Um, some fresh milk, but I can't wait to make me a batch of butter. That cream looks amazing. Um, let's see, what else? Got me some honey, and I can't remember who gifted me the honey. It left me, y'all, just then, but I got some honey. I left with memories. That's what I did. I left with memories. It's always a blast to go down and just, just enjoy. Laugh while we work. Laugh while we wash dishes. Fellowship while we sit at the table and give thanks and blessings to the food that's set upon us. So, yeah. Lippy is rejuvenated and blessed. So... I'm ready to go back again. And here comes the guys. But it is planting season. Yes, I already said I was planting, but when I come back from deep south, it's like the bug bit me and I heard what they had already started. I was like, oh no, no, Lippy. You may have a lot of going, but I'm gonna have to squeeze this in. And I said, you know what? Y'all are gonna ask, well, what are you planning on growing? So I stopped right in my tracks, got my tablet, 
And I'm going to tell y'all what is on the menu for our fall planning. And that's going to be the video today. And then I got to go back out to the sugar shack and work. So I'm going to get some glasses on if I don't drop my seeds. And I have my list. And I'm going to show you how I do my list. I list what I'm, I'm going to plant. And this is about all we can plant with the soil we have and the amount of soil that we're going to be able to, to purchase for this winter. And, and this, is, this is plenty, you know, for us. I always put down my depth, I always put down my space, and I always put down my harvest date. The reason why I do a cheat sheet like this, I'll take this and I'll move it to my ledger book. You need Mama's help? Yeah. Okay. Libby keeps it real. So this is just works for me. So I'll rip this page out, put my seeds in a little tote bag, and I take this out to the garden. And I have it in alphabetical order. So it's easier for me to look and glance, you know, instead of taking like a book, because I've had this a long time. This is for my zone. It's the Louisiana Ag Center that puts it out and flumming through page after page after page. Um, you know, this wouldn't apply to me. That's in South Louisiana. Here is my growing here, so I always circle it. So at a glance, I can look, then I can turn around and write it on my cheat sheet, and all is well. So let's look and see what we're about to plant. Hey y'all, Mo wants to share something with y'all. Uh, Paul started a fire, uh, but it's this hot out here. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, he doesn't really need to start a fire because it's really hot. Papa started a fire, but Mo don't think he needed to as hot as it is. So what are y'all burning? Some wood. Some wood? Yeah. You think you're going to be able to get it done before nighttime? Um, no? So how are we going to put that fire out before we go to bed? What are we going to have to use? Water hose. A water hose? I guess. Well, he gets a water hose. <laughs> it's water, so uh, fire uh, is uh, so water helps uh, fire get out because uh, it because it dries the fire out. That's right. It'll dr it'll dry it out. Put water on it to dry it out. Yeah, and it'll also. Uh, put the fire into the grass and it'll shake into it, then mm -hmm. it'll burn out. Do y'all hear that? It makes the fire go into the grass and then it'll burn it out. It'll smother it, won't it? Yeah. Yeah. Gotta yeah. be safe, don't we? Yeah, but uh, the snake, I mean, no, not the snakes. Uh, the ants uh, are watching out because of that huge fire that we mm -hmm. just Because what do we have to do with these ants? Do we have to eradicate them this afternoon? Like, get rid of them? No, like we have to get them away from the fire, so... What are we going to put on them ants? Uh, some poison ant stuff. That's right, some poison ant stuff. Yeah, that's what Mama's working on this afternoon. Mm-hmm. Now, let's get back to the garden. You going to stay here with Mama, or are you going to go out with Papa? I'm going to sit. You going to sit at the table? Mm -hmm. All right, you go ahead and sit at the table. Don't y'all love tuning in to Lippy? Okay, the first thing I'm going to plant is Brussels sprouts. Now, the only Brussels sprouts that I have came from Mr. Dutch. Um, so, I did buy a six-pack. But I will seed start these this evening, okay? But I needed a backup because that's the only Brussels sprout seeds that, that I have. And then we're going to go to beets. Got to have beets. What I'm thinking about doing is actually using, since I did that herb bed this year, temporary, and I had harvested everything out of it, half of it will be the carrots. The other end is going to be beets. And this is what I had in my, um, my garden bin. Miss Wanda gave me some Detroit red beets while I was there. And I had some, but this is probably one of my favorites. And then these are the Detroits. And then I had another package. 
Don't know what I done with them. I had, no, oh, no, I didn't. I bought a four pack. I knew there was three. So I'm gonna try these seeds and I do have a four pack. And that's plenty. Cabbage. I had no cabbage seeds, as in, you know, your purple head cabbage, your regular cabbage. But the feed store actually had eight packs for three dollars. So what did Lippy do? I bought a purple and a green. That's plenty. Now there's small seed uh, plants that was in small seed cells. That's plenty. So out of what, 16? No, there were six packs, I'm lying. That's 12. So out of the 12, say we only get eight. That's eight more than what I had today, you know, because we were not planning a big fall to winter garden. We've got too many other things going. Carrots. Now, I'm gonna plant the carotta. Thank you, Mr. Danny. And I'm gonna plant the short and sweets. Uh, these are organic from Burpee. These are an easy grow. They do actually do better if I went early spring. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and do both because that's Mo's favorite. So we're gonna do both, aren't we, Mo? Mm -hmm. Now we're at, somehow we got our seeds Mama, mixed up. Yes, baby. You know why uh, Tuesday came here? Be because I was gonna help you plant all of this. That's right, you're gonna help Mama plant all of this. That's correct. I did buy a four pack of cauliflower because that's the only cauliflower that I have. Watch, watch your arm, baby. Oh yeah. Uh, I have plenty of purple cauliflower. I'm not a fan of it. Not a fan of it. Um, they say it's the same. I grew it. To me, it is not the same. It, there is a, there's a bitter to it. The texture's fine, but there's actually, to me, I can taste a difference. So, plain old cauliflower. Okay. All right, where are we? Celery. I didn't start celery seeds. I should have started them actually three weeks ago. But I did buy a six-pack. And as you can see, I have written purchased. That way I know that I purchased these. And also let me show you, this DSE throughout here, that's direct sow. I always take and put DS beside each one so I know I don't get in a hurry and just start a bunch of seeds and some sales when this is my direct sow. Because you can, I mean, or I can, if I've got too many things going, I can start a sale and then three days later, oh, I was supposed to, deep, you know, direct sow this, you know. And, it, and like I said, this may help you guys. Now, where are we at? Celery, collards. Okay. Georgia collards is Lippy's favorite. This is just one bag. I do have a couple of the larger bags. I buy my collards at the feed store in bulk the way we've always done it and it has always worked but georgia collards is my favorite um so yeah we'll be doing georgia collards uh kale we're not the biggest kale fans but i do prefer the curly kale and the reason why i prefer it because to me it it wilts faster and it has a, a better bite to it and i like that bite when I put it in onions and bacon grease. And I get it kind of smoking hot, and then I'll take my kale, the curly kale, and I'll blanch it just like you would do a spinach or something. These are the two kales. This is a Hoss Red Russian. This is just a burpee blue curly kale. And Buddy prefers the kale leaf. That's what he likes. So that is our varieties for our kale. Where are we at? Uh, mustard greens. Y'all, let me show y'all. This is the tender green mustards, and this is the uh, broadleaf mustard. Now, these are a couple of years old, and I've got a couple of these packages. That's all we pay. 
So if y'all have a co-op or an old farmer's outlet, check there and see if they still sell bulk, bulk seed. Um, this is how we buy our seeds. We've always done that, and it's never failed us. Um, it's just been in the last three years that I got into these packages seeds. You know, um, this is just what works. So that's going to be our mustard greens that we're going to be growing. Lettuce. Um, I did buy a couple packages. I think they were four packs. I bought a one four-pack. See, did I write it down? Of the mixed greens. And then I bought just a, a butter crisp. And this is a butter crunch. So I'm assuming it's about the same that somebody gifted me these seeds um, about two years ago. And then I have the Rocky Top. I do not use Baker's Creek seeds, okay? But I have these. I'm gonna try them again. Um, but the Rocky Top I like is actual, well, the mixed lettuce is the spring lettuce, and it's by Burpee. I'm a big Burpee fan. So that's what we're going to be growing as far as lettuce. Lettuce is hard to grow in my area because it bolts really, really easy. But something tells me by looking at the acorns on the ground, I'm going to have a, a nice winter for lettuce. All right, where are we at? Radishes. Grow radishes early spring, grow radishes late fall. Um, that's because the radish is 22 to 28 days. These Hoss Champions are delicious. I've got two more packs of these. I am a fan of these because I have grown these in the spring. But our favorite is Cherry Bells. This whole package, this is a new package. Yep, that's a new one. I haven't opened this one. 95 cents, guys. And look at them seeds. That is our favorite. But a cherry bell has a pepper bite now. Uh, to me, the champions don't have as much. So the children like these or they like the breakfast ones. This is our favorite. But we like that pepper bite. Can't go wrong with the co-op. And let's see, what do we have next? Uh, spinach. I'm only gonna do the burpee spinach, broadleaf, and I am going to do some green Malabar. And this is in my gardener. This package was gifted to me. It doesn't say from who, but I forgot to get me some, and we were gonna uh, harvest some Malabar when I was down at Deep South, and I totally forgot to get me some. So, but I remembered I had this because I like the Malabar spinach. But it will take over, guys. But I'm not telling y'all nothing you don't already know. Turnips. Now, this is our absolute favorite because I love turnip tops. I love a turnip root. Probably a vegetable, a root vegetable that Buddy and I will eat and the kids two to three times a week. We absolutely love it. So I'm going with the seven top turnip and the purple top turnip. This whole bag here was a dollar and 30 cents. I'm still using off of this guys. It was up to here. You can see some of the seeds where I've shaken it. It was up to here, okay? This was in 2015. This was in 2018. That was 60 cents. You just, you can't go wrong with bulk buying. And then I'm gonna try, I've never used the Hoss. I've got about six packages of these, but I'm gonna try their purple top as well and see how they do you know already know how these grow so we're gonna see how those grow and i don't think i'm missing anything nope nope i'm not missing anything so that is what lippy will be growing this fall and winter and like i said a lot of this i can turn right around and oh my broccoli i forgot about my broccoli 
I see it right here. I forgot to pull my seeds out. Tell you what, let's go ahead and go over there and I'll show you the seeds and I'll pull my broccoli out. I gotta have my broccoli. But this right here is a double planting. I will plant now and I will plant again our seed start. If their seed starts, I won't direct sow till the end of February. I'll get another harvest extremely early spring. Here is one tote. The other tote is just Ziploc bags because I've run out of binders. So you didn't need to see my hot mess of Ziploc bags full of seeds. These are the ones that I have been able to organize last year. Okay, you'll be able to see. I've just got them in these, uh, they're actually picture holders that you put in binders and I'm able to stack and go to the other side. And that's basically how I store my seeds. So I can instantly look and see what I have. So you see how I do it? All right, let me show you. I've got them just stacked in bags and bags, just throw it in another tote, and they're all in Ziploc bags. And I've got to go through and, and organize them. And then packs of seeds are the same way, just in Ziploc bags. So I gotta get some more folders. So that's how Lippy stores her seeds. I grabbed my broccoli. <laughs> I was like, I don't remember seeing it. One pack's plenty. So there you have Lippy's garden list. Now, I may add more. Oh, Swiss chard. I gotta pull that out. I can add that. Well, we gotta see. I'm going with what we really want or need. And then if I have more space, I pull out more goodies. But I know you didn't see butternut squash. You didn't see any of the hard squash. That's because I'm not sure I've got the space for that this planting season. But I do know that I will have guarantee what I showed you. So that's what I will be doing on this Labor Day. But I wanna end with this. I think many of you relate. All these seeds have in common. Life. nourishment to our bodies and our soul. But what they don't do is compete. None of these are competing because you see, it's not about a competition if you're comparing this to people. People should never compete. People should be able to learn to grow together. Learn together. Share together. It's not about a competition. Well, so-and-so has this, and so-and-so is doing this. It's not a competition. It should never be. We should all plant our own seeds watch ourselves grow, nourish our bodies by learning, feed our souls with pride. And that was the message I gave my own self when I was going through these seeds and it hit me. None of these seeds will ever compete. They will thrive and they will grow together. And that's what I think community should be doing, especially in this YouTube world that we're in. It's about coming together, not shadowing. So I'll leave with that note. Tomorrow we're gonna be in the kitchen. We're gonna make butter. Yes, I'm not gonna make a lot, but let me tell you what, I'm gonna make Mr. Barrett very proud because that is some beautiful cream. And this is the first time 
since 1993. 1993 was the last time I had my hands on fresh cream from a dairy barn that I worked and we owned. So this is, this is joy to my heart and I'm gonna share that with y'all. So happy Labor Day. Enjoy yourself, and I'm sure if Mo was here, he'd tell y'all. Bye. So until next time, stay safe, stay well, and God bless. See you tomorrow, y'all.